Hello and welcome to Yadnya Investment Academy. Today we are going to discuss about the term average maturity in debt funds. Debt funds invest in multiple fixed income or debt securities and each security in the portfolio may have a different maturity. A bond's maturity date indicates the specific future date on which an investor gets his principal back. that is the borrowed amount is repaid in full and bond ceases to exist on that day average maturity in a debt fund is the weighted average of all the current maturities of the debt securities held in the fund weights are percentage of holding of each security in the portfolio for example debt fund having an average maturity of 5 years constitutes debt securities held by the fund that on average will mature in 5 years though individual securities may have a different maturity than 5 years now let's understand how average maturity is computed in a debt fund so before investing in debt funds it is advisable to have a look at the average maturity of the fund average maturity of debt fund can be easily calculated with the help of maturity period of each security and the amount invested therein let me take you through an example consider a case where a debt fund holds three bonds each having maturity of 2 years 3 years and 5 years respectively amount invested in a 2 year bond is rupees 30000 3 year is rupees 10000 and 5 year is rupees 20000 first multiply the invested amount with the corresponding maturity period then divide the total product by the total amount invested to arrive at the average maturity of debt fund that is 3.17 years in this example So the example shows the average age of debt fund is 3.17 years although the individual bonds have a maturity which is different from 3.17 years. So what does this imply? Average maturity now tells us weighted average maturity of that fund which in turn represents interest rate sensitivity. Now how does interest rate sensitivity work? Check our video on how bond market works link is here. Mutual funds with several long maturity papers in its portfolio are more sensitive to NAV fluctuations. However, we believe modified duration is a better indicator of interest rate sensitivity and we will discuss about that term in our separate video. Please remember, average maturity does not indicate the life of a debt fund. So an open-ended fund never matures. example if you invest in a bond fund having a average maturity of suppose 6 years so you don't have to hold the fund for 6 years you can sell it next day or even after 20 years basically what it means is the maturity of funds bond holding is 6 years average maturity of a fund portfolio undergoes a change with the passage of time as a debt security approaches its maturity date the length of time to maturity becomes shorter Thus, even if a fund buys and holds a debt portfolio, average maturity of fund keeps on decreasing till the security held reaches its maturity date. Also, if a fund sells one security and buys a fresh one, it is obvious that its average maturity will change too, since each security has its own maturity period. This is how we can classify debt funds based on average maturity. So, debt funds of these particular categories. make sure that they keep on changing the debt portfolio to keep the average maturity in this range always please note longer the average maturity higher the risk associated with a debt fund so while shortlisting a debt fund you need to consider your investment horizon as the starting point and align it with the average maturity of the fund to ensure that it is in line with your time horizon more details on this in our video on risk management in debt or bond market link is here so that is all we have on this topic if you have any question please do write in the comment section below and do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos have a great time ahead jai hind